How can technology help? Lots of technologies are available to help with oral language. There are tools for listening to the pronunciation of words and connected speech. There are audio chat tools for collaborative work or for discussion of a topic before students present as a group. There are tools for creating presentations. There are sites with good pronunciation help and conversation partners. There are conversation groups that can be formed based on common interests within the class and on language learner sites on the web. Let's turn to Tim to learn about a few specific technologies and how they can be used to help with oral language. As Professor Levis mentioned, when we talk about oral language, there seems to be tension between accuracy and fluency. Both fluency and accuracy are needed for comprehensible speech, but developing both can take much longer than anticipated and longer than a single class period. In other words, developing fluent and accurate speech takes time and practice. It may be easy to work on oral language in a classroom, but it can become more difficult to provide opportunities for practicing speaking outside the classroom. This is where technology can help a lot in the development of oral language. Let's start by taking a look at two tools that can help students develop accurate speech. When we talk about accurate speech, the first feature that comes to mind is the individual sounds of English, or consonants and vowels. The individual sounds of English are crucial for any learner because they are the building blocks of oral language. However, these sounds can be difficult for learners for a number of reasons such as their native language not having the sound. One free, easily accessible, and interactive technology that can assist students with individual sounds in English is English Accent Coach. This tool lets students listen to and learn each sound in English, both consonants and vowels. Some classroom instruction may be necessary when the teacher introduces English Accent Coach to learners. The sounds are presented by their IPA symbol, or International Phonetic Alphabet. However, as learners select sounds to work on, they will be presented with English words that have the sound, and they will see where the sound is placed in the word. For example, the W sound is like the first sound in wind and weak. After learners have practiced their sounds, they can quiz themselves on their ability to hear those sounds within words. Law Ma Ha The quizzes make use of a concept known as high variable pronunciation training or HVPT. In short, the quizzes present the sounds using different speakers, such as male and female, and voices with high and low pitch. This type of training has been found to be effective for learning individual sounds. This is a great resource for beginner and intermediate learners. Students also struggle with the pronunciation of certain words and there are great technological tools to help. One example is Forvo. Forvo is a pronunciation dictionary and is a great tool for oral language because it provides multiple recordings of the word by native and sometimes non-native speakers of English. The variety of speakers helps learners to hear words as they are pronounced by English speakers around the world. Forvo also has a useful guide for commonly used phrases in everyday conversations, shopping, getting around, and asking for directions. The phrases help learners to put together their own short phrases in English while also practicing their oral language accuracy at the word level.